In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Davian Mitchell and how he shoots the basketball. He is one of the best shooters in this year's NBA draft, and he's definitely a player to really watch out for, especially the fact that he may be drafted by the Golden State Warriors, maybe. It would be a good fit, so let's get down and let's check out Davian Mitchell. Okay, so in this first clip, what we see is a very good move. First off, he does a quick through the legs jab, step back into a shot. This is a very good move that you can do. However, when he goes for a step back, let's really look at his form. As we can see, he is tilted away from the net. He's actually facing the, basically facing the baseline while the net's over there. So, he is slightly tilted. Now, is that good or bad? To some older coaches, that may be bad. However, to newer coaches like myself, we understand that this is okay because when we go up for our shot, we just need to have our shoulder and elbow in line with the basketball net. And because of that, that's why he is actually slightly tilted away from the net. We can also see from this angle that his wrist and or ball is above his shoulder or at least his upper arm. That essentially creates that shooting triangle that I always speak of. We can also see that his guide hand releases from the ball before he also shoots the ball, but we also see that his palm faces this way and not towards the baseline or the rim. If his palm was facing towards the baseline or rim, he would have a thumb flick. Now, I'm not saying that's bad. It is something that Kyrie Irving and Curry do. However, we don't see Davian Mitchell doing that. And so that means that he's got more of a traditional shot. Now when he goes to release this ball, we can see that it seems like his middle finger touches the ball last slightly. Or it could be a split grip between his middle and pointer finger. There really isn't any close-up footage of Davian Mitchell right now online shooting. However, by his hand slightly tilted away, it to me means that he probably has a split grip between his pointer finger and his middle finger. However... His middle finger is slightly more ahead. With that follow through, we can slightly see a little bit of a finger there. So because of that, he either has a split finger or, or split grip or at least a middle finger grip. Now when he goes up for his shot, we do see that his arm is actually pretty well close to 90 degrees. His shooting arm, not his, not his guide hand, his shooting arm is pretty well 90 degrees and we can see that right now. That's what gets him a quick shot. Now we can also see that his shoulders are above his knees, above his toes, so he has a perfectly balanced shot. He does tend to get quite low on his shot, his legs and knees being slightly 90 degrees or pretty well 90 degrees as well. So what does that tell me? He has adapted using more legs, which is a slower shot, However, he's adapted it to have a 90 degree elbow, which gives him a faster shot. And then when he releases, his elbow is above his forehead, which is fantastic. We can see this in some other closer clips a little bit better, but not from the side. And he has what I call a soft, hard release. So it's hard when it comes to the wrist, but his fingers slightly roll down. Now, what does this give us? Well, this gives us the ability to have that We'll put it in regular motion. We can see how fast that releases. That that wrist flick is really, really crazy. When we actually really look at it, that wrist flick, that's a very fast wrist flick. We can see it right here that it's a very fast wrist flick. Now, what does that give us? Well, a, a fast wrist flick will give us the backwards rotation on that ball. However, that soft release at the end, the soft fingers, that get, gives us the arc. So now what we see with players like Steph Curry, some of the best shooters in the league, we will see they'll have a totally soft release. However, a few players who are coming up this year in this draft have a hard wrist and a soft release. That to me tells me that maybe they're adapting and actually adapting a soft release into a hard wrist flick, which gives you essentially the best of both worlds. You're getting a lot of backwards rotation on that shot, and you're getting a lot of arc. This, to me, may be a nice hybrid combination. Now, of course, not everyone can shoot like this. However, it is still a good point to take. I also think that his hard wrist flick is the reason why he's able to get some of these shots off very tightly contested, even though it's a step back, and 
we can see for this shot that he's really tightly contested into a crossover step back and he's able to get that ball off of his shooting hand quite quickly. This is a very nice shooting form. I really do like Davian Mitchell's shooting form mainly because of that. Now in this next one, another crossover, killer cross, that guy's lost. And we can really see it here. Of, co of course this is a two motion set shot. We can actually see what looks to be the middle finger touching that ball last potentially right there. Who's to say that is way too far to really say, but hard wrist flick, soft release, absolutely amazing. And considering that he shot 44% from the NCAA three-point line, I can say right now that he should be able to shoot over 40% in the NBA as well. This is a very good shooter. It's kind of a nice hybrid between a Michael Jordan shot and, of course, a Steph Curry shot. Very nicely done, put together. I really like this shot. I can't rave more about it. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.